What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lime SC here, and today we're going to talk about the Fire Boson, the Immolation Arrowzon. There's some exciting stuff there. They lowered the cooldown by 40% for her shot. Um, it definitely had a very strange pace on it, so let's go ahead and test out if that's better. And then there's also just some additional uh, minor changes that might make us just look at some other gear with it and try and really spec it out. So let's see right here. Um, so the first thing, I'll show kind of the gear that we have for her. We're running Kuku Shikaku because it has three bone crossbows, three to immolation arrow, adds that fire damage, and has a piercing. Uh, I just put a Rao rune in it right now. I don't have any facets or anything, but it seems like, hey, maybe if you're running uh, fire arrows, Kuko Shikaku maybe has a use here. Also could be other uh, bows that have the uh, plus three to crossbows and all of that. I think the new mist one is supposed to be I forget what Mist even does, but I think you might be able to get plus six on that. Regardless, just looking for all the um, fire damage. We have Flickering Flame, three to fire skills, minus fire res for enemies. Uh, I just have a Mars right now. Could use like a Rising Sun though for even more. Enigma, just for the plus two to skills. Mage Fist, SOJ, Iraq, BK. And uh, I just have Gords here, but you know, you could run like Inferno Strides or something there. Um, just a bunch of bow and crossbows. I don't even have a Zon Torch right now. And just an Annie. So right now we're at level 46 Immolation Arrow. And it has good and bad. So the good is it's not bad in some areas and it actually kind of smokes a lot of mobs um, as you're hitting them. It does have a decent AoE. And obviously this character is decently stacked, but if you did drop off some of this higher end gear and really just ran some lower plus to skill stuff, also probably best run uh, a Raven Frost, um, it still actually isn't bad at all. But at the same time, I know my Merce has Infinity, Fortitude, and Andy's pretty standard. At the same time, I feel like you really want um, more damage. The bad is there's still a weird speed on this shot and I think it's probably the right speed still but it does feel a little strange because I believe if I'm alternating with a exploding arrow in the middle it's still going to slightly be more effective. So I think the most effective way to still shoot this is to shoot off one immolation arrow then one Exploding arrow then one immolation then one exploding and like alternate back and forth um, with that uh, So you know we, there's that piece, but like I say for for a build like this Like this is players one player one cows It's okay but also, when I'm fully stacked and I've spent this much on all of this gear, I feel like a lot of times I would be wanting slightly better, maybe. Um, so, it doesn't feel like it is an end game build super, like, all the time. Kind of this, like, crazy top tier end game build by any means. But it also doesn't feel terrible. Like I say, it's not horrible. You are running fire, so you're gonna have to be, you know, like, go into areas that don't have uh, very many fire immunes, right? But, I mean, if you're out here and stuff, like, I mean, you can, you can still mow stuff down pretty quickly, right? It is still, by no means, a terrible build. I actually kind of like um, where you get with it and stuff, but... You will still run into these issues, and without infinity, you won't be able to like clear those mobs out. And there are a lot of just fire immunes in hell, so I think that will be kind of a difficulty for you right there. Um, if you are trying to do pure uh, fire, right, you're gonna just have a little bit of trouble. But potentially, this could be, yeah, a good like stony tomb farming build, right? That's kind of one of those areas that doesn't quite get as much love, but maybe if you're running out there, now that they've increased the amount of mobs, or, uh, you know, whatever it is there, you can do that. 
you can still obviously one shot a lot of monsters um, and so that's that's pretty fun and pretty nice and you get the nice burning fire as well it doesn't burn as much damage as I was kind of expecting it to but maybe that's just based on what I've seen with like blaze and firewall the damage um, from that is just really nice but again it's not not awful I, I, I'm trying to think where I would rank it in the tiers. Does it move it up to a, a low, low B tier? Potentially, something like that. Because I think even if you drop off, you know, you don't need to have a flickering flame. You don't need to have the Enigma. You can just have whatever kind of plus skills there. It's definitely way less gear dependent. You can get still a lot of damage out of it. You don't need the Infinity Mercenary. It's not really doing a ton except helping break immunes. I mean, it is doing a lot, but like this this build still does okay without it. Um, all right, does the Stony Tomb just not exist? Just doesn't exist. Um, so, you know, it still like has its damage. It still does all right in, in its areas. Uh, and and I don't I don't dislike it. I think where I would most like this actually is um, running the dual immolation freezing arrow build. I think that's actually where I would probably end up going with it because it it does have the added boost. You get the really fast shot on it now. The damage isn't bad. And then you can also have the freezing arrow. You can do that multi-spec. I have that guide up on Icy Veins for how I like to build that. And I think that really just helps this out. Because then, again, for both of those, you're just trying to plus skills. Plus skills, plus skills, plus skills is what you're trying to do. And uh, when you can boost that up, your character can just really um, handle a lot. Because not only, like I said, are you doing the fire damage, but you're also doing the cold damage. And it can be very nice. But, hey, we finally got there. You know, this can be a build to take into the Stony Tomb for sure. And there's a lot of bosses that you're going to find in here as well. And you shouldn't have any trouble with any of those bosses. And uh, I think it's going to be really nice. So, probably, yeah, it's probably in that B tier range still for me. Um, the speed is still slightly strange, but I also don't hate it. It's much better than it was before, uh, and it still has a feel of, like, you can shoot, and then you can run a tiny bit before you shoot again. It's not really, a built for just, uh, standing and shooting over and over and over again. That doesn't really feel like how this build is supposed to be played. It seems like you're supposed to shoot, and then run a little bit, shoot, and then run a little bit. And just kind of rinse and repeat with all of that. So I think based on the playstyle, it actually works really well. And you're able to get that next shot off before you kind of run into maybe just a do I have to just sit and wait sort of thing. Like it was before where you had that whole second to, to really wait um, was just way too long. So it's not terrible. I, I definitely think, again, it goes in the B tier. I'm probably not running pure Immolation Arrow, like I said. I'm probably doing a mix of Immolation and Freezing. Um, and there you can just kind of run these five and then, like, these two or whatever you want. Uh, or here, here, you know, whatever, right? Um, and it's not bad. So, I don't know. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on it. Uh, where you're at, if you've tested this at all, if you've used it with some lower gear, whatever not. Um, and just kind of how it feels for you. Regardless, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys next time, YouTube. Peace, everybody.